based in central London, Hoost Gallery is a new contemporary art gallery that showcases emerging artists. Since taking on a permanent space in October 2013, the gallery is currently featuring its fourth solo exhibition, Casting the Line, a collection of work from artist Howard Tangy. Right now we're showing the work of an artist called Howard Tangy. He's an extremely talented um, artist. He does beautiful life drawings and um, mixed media works on paper. We've got 30 works on show here from 1995 all the way up until just before Christmas 2013. And it really is kind of a reflection, I think, of Howard's work and how it's progressed, but also this, the subtleties in each individual work that he's done and all of the sitters and the people that he's known throughout his career. As well as being an artist, Howard has also been an influential force in fashion for decades. Currently head of women's wear design at Central St. Martins, he has taught the likes of John Galliano and Stella McCartney. Throughout his time in fashion, Howard has kept up his own art practice and has had his drawings appear in fashion publications, including a book about John Galliano. Recently, Howard has published his own book, Within, and in 2012, London's v &A Museum selected 56 of Howard's artwork for their permanent collection. So how did Howard carve his path as an artist and a fashion figure? I've always been interested in the figure, and um, I was drawing people, you know, portraits, when I was quite young. And I was also interested in fashion, and I thought because at school we weren't really encouraged, boys weren't encouraged to do fine art, I thought maybe I could find some commercial way of using my drawings, and I thought fashion would be one of them. So I started, I embarked on that, and when I was a student at St. Martin's, the drawing tutor who I had, Elizabeth Souter, um, she really set my passion for drawing full steam ahead, you know. It was more about just understanding the body and the challenge that that brought, which made me really want to work hard at it. After studying fashion in London, Howard took up a drawing scholarship at Parsons School of Art and Design in New York, where he found that his drawings were more than just fashion illustrations. They were life drawings. After I graduated from St. Martin's, which was really all about learning how the body worked, and after that, I had, a, I had the opportunity to go to New York and study at Parsons. And I can remember distinctly one day I was on a bus and this beautiful black girl got on the bus and she just moved in this most incredibly balletic way. You know, it was almost like if she was moving in slow motion. And um, I can still feel it, you know, like if I talk about it, it's kind of gives me a kind of a buzz. But um, it was about her individuality with all the other people on the bus. You know, she just stood out. That's what I've been trying to capture with people I draw. There's always something that's individual to them. It's not just about their looks, it's the way they sit and move. It's a kind of persona and a feeling about them that I get. He is an artist, he's not a fashion illustrator, and, and we really wanted to represent that in the show. I think what's cool about the way that we curated the show is that all of the frames are different, all the works are different, they're all in different paper. So he's got the Pergaminata, which is a beautiful handmade vellum paper, and the Fabriana, which is also handmade paper. And so we really wanted to mix it up, so different frames reflect the different characters of the sitters, and I think hanging them this way. I imagine that they're all having conversations with each other and sneaking into each other's frames and we wanted them to be having a dialogue kind of amongst themselves, which I think, you know, really reflects Howard and his relationship with the sitters themselves. Some pieces in this show are quite painterly, they're quite filled out, there's a lot of texture to them, and other works really are line drawings, and they're so simple, but they suggest so much. Colin McDowell, who's a renowned fashion journalist, um, he wrote the exhibition forward for the show. He's given me the best line I've ever heard to describe Howard, which is he's a man who really knows when to stop. And I think that perfectly sums up Howard's ability to, you know, capture his sitters with just a few strokes of the line. <laughs>